Muy buenas noches, espero que estéis muy pero que muy bien, bienvenidos a Red Dead Redemption 2, un día más. Vamos a ver, ¿qué quieres? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Quién me ha gritado? Vale, 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 perdón. Dime, Dutch. Que me digas... Ven aquí, sombrita mía. Vale. Tenemos a Abigail. A ver, Abigail también quiere algo. Nos bajamos. ¿Qué quiere Abigail? A ver. funny would you do something with jack he seems kind of down all this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid why because i'm your preferred nursemaid because he likes you and well you know his father's useless <laughs> okay thank you vale vamos a darle bacon jack A ver, Jack, ¿qué te pasa, chaval? What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Ir a pescar. Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Venga, monta a caballo. Yep. ¿Y el chavalín? Vale. Su caña. Que mágicamente ha desaparecido. Bueno, qué padrazos somos, eh. ¿Qué padrazo podríamos haber sido? Caballo ha muerto, pero ¿qué me estás contando? ¿Cómo ha sido eso? Que no me he enterado. Why? 
I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Vale, solicito objeto de campamento, ya que perdí un folletín. Vale. La caña. Cebo de pan de maíz. Vale, tenemos el pececito. Vale, vamos a pescar, pescar uno más. Pero antes le ponemos queso. food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Venga. Otro mío. Fish on the line. Mio. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Oh. 
Vale. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. Vale. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. It's okay, girl. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. this necklace. Ain't that pretty. Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton, and, um, 
I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Pues nada. Si el jefe dice que no hagamos nada, no se hace nada, ya está. Eh, aquí no hay mucho más que ver. A ver qué tal vamos de salud. Vale, nos vendría bien comer. ¿Dónde está la comida? No hay comida. Pues si no hay comida... Saw, met, got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Okay, girl. No sé qué quieren de mí, pero vamos a ir o a LM o a John Marston o a Black Sea. A Strawberry aquí. Venga, dale, 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 dale. Mi caballito. Nos vamos a encargar de estos a mi manera. No digas que me han matado. A ver dónde aparecemos. Siete dólares menos. Vale. Yeah. 
espera objetos Vale. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. Vale. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. All right, girl. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean... How many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry, making me kill half the huh? town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. 
Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Oh! They should be here in a little bit. Old tide. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch you can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn. You okay?
is it? Every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. <laughs> You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. You shooting it or not? Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Parte de la banda. Ostras, tu parte 600. Sin pastizal, ¿no? Vale. Y veamos hacia dónde tiramos ahora. Vale. Pues allá que vamos. Did he send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... 
Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Pues nada, buen día. Ya puedo descansar mi cochecito. A ver, un segundo. Es this way. Ole. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toad again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. 
And where are you? Find the future in all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Vamos allá. Un segundito que quitamos el marcador. Y allá vamos. Hey, all the horses untethered? Big show. Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolfman. Yeah. Follow the trip. Espera un segundo. En objetos. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. For my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Back on the road. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Faster! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Oh. Everybody stay calm and sure. no you get shot! Just go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, and, people! Um, come on! Everything you got. Full. Empty your pockets, mister. I ain't got nothing. We'll have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here. Honey, nothing else. Make me hurt you. What's the problem? Money! Hey! Never do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, Come on. okay. In the bag, God everything you got. I don't need all your money, friend. People out here make me sick. You don't do this. Pay me what you got, mister. You won't get hurt. I want to count to three. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. 
Thank you. Thank you, my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be Ladies over. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. Reach for your money? Nothing else. Make me hurt you. You show this son of a bitch we ain't no. around here. Go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Quick, come on! Come on, buddy. Come on, quick. Everything you got. Buddy, get buddy. off, mister. Everything you got. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Now, please, stay calm. Please, Give me everything you got on you. Come on. We're on the clock. Smart about this. But in yes. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Empty your pockets, mister. And you can be on your way. I'm on you. What are you Money? doing, Mr. Ed? Nothing else. Get up there. Don't make me hurt you. I'm gonna need all your money, my friend. Or you got a big problem. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. You're getting robbed, okay. Mr. Give me everything you got. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? ¿Qué ha pasado? Nos ha matado a alguien. Sí, ha muerto. Vale, vale, vale. Tenemos que proteger a todos los miembros, vale. Entendido. Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, oh. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Come on, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Looking good in here. How's it looking in there? Let's go. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. All right, we should probably be going now. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Damn, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them.
on getting there now. You just love attention, don't you? Fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Vale. Vale. A ver. Vale. Roads. Bueno, vamos a esperar a ver qué nos dicen. Caballo. Vale. Qué guapa la casa. Okay, 
Qué guapo este sitio, eh. Ellos me atacaron, ¿eh? Que conste. You're okay, girl. Come on, girl. Yeah. Qué velocidad coge el caballo ahora, eh.
girl. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. Uh. Easy, easy. Nothing better to do? It's a little too hot. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen. Come on. Let's go. Now, I was saying... You coming? Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. What are you waiting for? Back to what I was talking about. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. A mí tampoco, la verdad. Así que, señores y señores, como la verdad que la cosa no pinta muy, pero que muy bien, vamos a ver qué es lo que quiere nuestro querido colega. Vamos a dejar el capítulo de hoy por aquí. Muchas gracias por seguir viendo. Un placer. Hasta luego.